up. Nico Robin. This is a Patreon request from King over on Patreon. Uh, sent me this image in particular to draw. So it's kind of like the old school uh, animation of Robin. So landscape page, use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with the eyes. Very simple eyes in this old sort of animation style. So you just do kind of a curved line, line up and down like this. Right now I'm gonna add some thickness there. I think it needs it, but they're not really that thick in the image. So just a little bit of extra darkness or thickness to it. Da, da, da. Then eyelashes, so you just curve up eyelashes like this. One, two, three. She only seems to have three. Like that, right? And then the bottom eyelid is around underneath there. And her eyes are real big, so they go down that side, another one down that side. And the pupil inside, big dark circle. Like so, and they're black inside, but I will leave a highlight. You could do this after when you're coloring. You know, you could put some Tipex on it. Where's my Tipex spoon? Here. Tipex or white out or something. You know, you could color it all black and then put a dot of that on top. Or you could just do it this way and color it around. Right, the other eye, just over here, come over to the left. I think her head is like a little bit tilted. You could keep it straight if you wanted. You could go right across, but I'm just going to go across and down a little bit. And like distance wise, we're probably like three quarters of her eye. So like maybe from the tear duct, like inside here over to maybe where her iris ends just there is about the distance between the eyes, right? You're not a full eye because the eyes are bigger. So we're out of proportion, okay? So you're just like three quarters of the eye will fit in there. And then you will curve a line. Again, same sort of thing. Up and down. And thicken it up just a little bit. It's kind of like thicker on this end rather than here. So you see it's like a slight tilt. It's not like perfectly horizontal. And then eyelashes, three of them. One, two, three. Bottom eyelid then, down here, just a curved line going up this way. Big iris and big pupil. So just coming down from the top eyelid there. And then a big dark black pupil. I'm gonna leave our white highlight and color around it black. Or shade it as dark as you can with your pencil. Right, so then we got some eyelid lines, so just coming up and around her eye like this. And then her eyebrows seem to be just like lines that just go across here, and we're just thicken up this end a little bit. Same on this side, pretty much. And you just make this end a little bit thicker. Nose comes down here. Seems to like curve around to a little L just there. So we're, we're not like bang in the middle, we're slightly over to the left hand side. And 
and then coming down here on that side like that you can see some nostrils they're just like these dots kind of drawn in just sort of on the bottom of her nose just there and then her mouth it's not like a continuous line it's two lines you could do a continuous line if you wanted but they leave a gap it's that kind of style right so just underneath the nose here we'll go across one side and this end is kind of like thicker so it's kind of like dimples on the side of her mouth there and then on this side you'll leave a little bit of a gap or you could go the whole way but we'll just do it as close to the image as we can and we just sort of end underneath the, the iris there you know see you'll see like the mouth kind of it's underneath her eyes kind of just there on both sides it's kind of like thicker on the ends like that right and then her bottom lip just here And then her chin, curved line, just there. So in proportions of things, eyebrows to the nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin. Just on this one, because her head is kind of tilted back. So here to here is about the same as here to here. And then nostrils to bottom lip line is about the same as bottom lip line to chin. So this is halfway between here and here, and this is halfway between here and here, roughly speaking. So once you get that then, we we'll go for the jaw. So we just go for the side. Right, like so. And then we sort of change direction, go up the side of her face. Sort of here. And then we have our sideburn starting here, right? So we've got this little V sort of shape either side, and our ears come around from there. Just there. Around like so. And then just the ear lines inside. And then the ear lines inside this side as well. Now she's got this hairline that goes all the way around her head, right? And we got this one line that actually comes down here, right? So say we start with this V just in the middle of her forehead, just up there. That's about the level for her forehead the size so it's about the same as this space again so like eyebrows to nostrils is about the same as eyebrows to the top of her forehead so that's about the same so you've got like thirds one two three roughly okay and then so we add these hair spikes that come down here right the same on the other side on this side, this one goes long, goes the whole way. Real long, right? And then comes down, we'll draw another side to it. If you go over any of her eyes or anything like that, you can just erase those lines. Okay, like so. And then we'll just keep these spikes going down towards her ear. And our sideburn down to there. And do the same on this side. Like so. So then she has these shades that sit on top of her head, right? So you just do these two ovals. So we'll just go like around like this. One there. This is just the, the lenses of the glasses one there and then the frames right so we join them together with a line across here and then this comes down around underneath and do the 
this comes down around to there. And then we go out like this. So it's where the sort of bits that go behind the ears. So this just kind of disappears into her hair. So it goes like down this way and kind of just stops here. It doesn't just disappears. Like that, okay. And then the rest of her hair kind of flows down behind her shoulders, right? So it'll go say the top of her head behind the glasses here. Down this way. And then this. Oops, stops about there. Um, like so. So in her neck, neckline there, and kind of neck should be, where is it? It's like under her eye. Sort of under this piece of hair, it's probably here. So it's kind of like underneath her eyes. And then collar curves down this way. Like that. And then this sticks out. You got a bit of a bump. And like some phone lines, clothing lines. Just here. And her shoulders come out just where those hair lines are. Real narrow, so kind of close to her head. Female characters tend to have smaller shoulders than male. Okay, and she's got a hand sticking up here, right? So we can see some of the sleeve of her t-shirt. Just here, and this is like the armpit kind of area. And then her arm goes down off my page. Like that, and her hand will come like back up in here. But we'll just get the rest of her body first, right? So her, she seems to be kind of just turned away from this a little bit. This, you'll see like this side of her body is bigger than this side. So we can see her chest sticking out here then because it's kind of turned side view. So it curves around here. It goes just down off my page like that. No other arm probably goes that way. And you can just see, it seems to be like some hatching or something just here. Underneath like that. And then the hand comes up here. So we'll go up there. And she's kind of pointing off to the left hand side. So this is her arm and her wrist bones are like here. So this comes up to the back of the hand. So like that's a wrist, arm, and then we have a knuckle is this way down up there All right so index finger pointing like that and her thumb her thumb kind of she's pointing like this so her thumb comes across that finger right so thumb starts here goes around knuckle there and then we have our hand line just there because your thumb joins that hand line here see it's part of that one section and then the other side of our hand goes that way and we have three how many more one two uh they've made a mistake do they do this on purpose there's six fingers in that picture <laughs> <laughs> oh man so that's strange one two three four five see so yeah, they've, they've given her six fingers <laughs> so we'll go 
in the next figure, right? So it comes down this way. Like that, right? And it's kind of like curved around. How did that slip through? Huh? Then the next one, next knuckle down, around right into there. So one, two, three, four, and then the next one. And her sixth knuckle is like right here. So is it because it looked weird? Because it kind of does look weird, doesn't it? So I would leave it there because it's not anatomically correct to draw in the extra finger. But for anyone who wants to, you just, they just have an extra knuckle there for some reason, which is hilarious. But, <laughs> but there it is. Anyway, that is how to draw Nico Robin from One Piece. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for the request. Anyone else has specific requests, head on over to Patreon, sign up. You don't have to stay signed up. You know, you could just request, make a one-off payment. I think it's like Fiverr and cancel your subscription. Some people have done that. Um, but if you want to stay signed up, uh, I I can probably handle like two a month or something at the current level. So there you go. Bye.